Okay, we're going to do a recap of the A vowel. And again, we learned that all vowel sounds stem from it's the la, ah, including A. So we're going to do really a, ah, la, okay? And a ah shares the same vowel modifications as ah. They happen in the same place. And once they settle in your voice, they'll always happen in the same place for you. Now, sometimes if you're a little tired, um, they'll happen maybe a little earlier. Or if you're feeling really great one day, they might happen a note later. But for the most part, within two or three notes, they'll be in the same spot every time, all the time. As I also said uh, or on, in uh, volume one, try to warm up the same time every day. The voice has a biological clock, okay? Uh, it has a biorhythm to it. So it likes to be warmed up. So you know how people like to do their, you know, let's say you, you work out, right? You're an exercise person and you're a morning guy. So you like to work out in the morning. Your body responds better in the morning. Or you're a night guy and you like to work out at night. The voice is no different. It's a muscle and it likes consistency to being worked out. So if you really want to get buff and you want to do this, and maybe you want to do this more than once, maybe you want to do it two times or even three times, if you know you're doing it correctly and you want to grow the voice quickly, then my suggestion is do it at the same time. Don't do it once in the morning and then again at night. Try to do it back to back because it's going to help you grow better than if you try to do it end to end. That's, that's going to be diminishing returns and, and the gains aren't going to be the same. Um, if you're going to sing at night, try to warm up at night because it's harder to warm up in the mornings all the time and then you're supposed to go sing that night. You can do it, it's just not optimal, okay? So again, we're gonna do the A vowel, and the A converts to A, converts to U, converts to U. Let's get started. Again, jaw open, tongue dropped, no stricture in the back of the throat, sitting up straight, taking our breath, chest three quarters full. Listen closely. Now, when I get to that ah, if I keep the smile in my face, the smile is what helps it sound like ah instead of ah or loft at the top. Listen closely. La you hear that? La above high C, so you've already sung above C5 or high C or middle C, right? That's considered to be one of not, if not the highest note in the male tenor range, but we're going to learn that we've actually can do more than that. We can actually connect and bridge this all the way up into the soprano range and make one very long note, okay? So I want you to refer and practice this to the audio portion that you have because that's your actual workout, all right? Now I'm gonna do something called sliders, and I'm gonna do them both on the A and the A vowel sound first. And sliders actually are very portamento, and they go all the way through the passaggio break and back down again without hearing the break. Now again, if you're an R&B guy and, or a jazz guy or a soul guy, you don't have to do them as heavy as me. I just like it, and it's what grows and builds the voice. Remember, bright timbre, ah, 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 don't go la or sound like a fart. Ah, keep that throat open, keep it bright. And if you keep it bright and allow these subtle changes to happen, even if you do have a froggy throat, it will open it up and eliminate that froggy sound and move you into a really nice, beautiful tone. And it's this tone and this sound that will grow the voice like mad. Okay? So we're gonna do some sliders. Sliders go.
Here is where you should already be bridging that bridge. So, okay, so we're gonna now do these in a full octave to go all the way through the bridge and back and connect through that chest. And we're gonna go here. and got through it quickly so I can bridge it and feel that sensation where the throat stays open through the bridge. Because what happens is, is you start to go into your falsetto or head register or whatever, your head voice, there's a tendency to get scared and go like this and close up the cord, the back of the throat really quickly, which helps to cause that yodel and keep us from being able to bridge the gap. But if we stay open, a and build the crap out of that upper mid voice and make it really strong. Okay, let's continue. 